Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hi everybody, this is Dr. Ravindra Maradi from Department of Biochemistry, Kasturba Medical College, Manipal. In this uh, lecture, I will be talking about overview of metabolism of sulfur containing amino acids. First thing we should know what are sulfur containing amino acids. Out of 20 amino acids, 3 amino acids are sulfur containing amino acids. Those are cysteine, cysteine and methionine. So, the cysteine is a non-essential amino acids because you can synthesize uh, in our body and this cysteine can be converted into pyruvate. Cysteine is nothing but a dimer of cysteine. Two cysteines are joined together to form cysteine. Whereas, methionine is an essential amino acid that means you need to take this amino acid in your diet. So, our body cannot synthesize methionine and this methionine is glucogenic in nature that means the carbon skeleton of this methionine can be used to synthesize glucose and uh, if you will see in the uh, metabolism of this methionine this can be converted into succinyl CoA and which can enter into TCA cycle and uh, from there you can synthesize glucose. <coughs> so, degradation of methionine is uh, equal to synthesis of cysteine. Cysteine you can synthesize uh, during the metabolism of methionine. If methionine is not available then cysteine becomes an essential amino acid. We will see the catabolism of how uh, amino acid, uh, methionine is metabolized. First reaction is this methionine is converted into S adenosyl methionine. Okay. If you see the uh, naming or if you see the structure of uh, methionine, there is a difference in this adenosyl group. The adenosyl group is added to the methionine and that binds to the SH group of the methionine. So, here you are transferring this adenosyl from ATP. ATP is the donor of this adenosine and meanwhile this ATP is converted into uh, inorganic phosphate and pyrophosphate. So, the enzyme uh, this pyrophosphate further can be hydrolyzed to form two inorganic phosphates. The enzyme required here is S adenosyl methionine synthetase. So, as the name itself indicates you are synthesizing S adenosyl methionine from uh, methionine by a donating a adenosyl group to methionine. The next uh, reaction what happens the methyl group carried by the methionine to the S adenosyl methionine is donated to some of the methyl acceptors and that methyl group is uh, uh, after getting that methyl uh, group for, for some of the acceptors they will be converted into methylated products. For example, epinephrine. Okay, if you donate uh, uh, during the synthesis of this uh, epinephrine, uh, the methyl group is donated and epinephrine can be synthesized and even during creatine requires this methyl group for its synthesis. Then after donating removal of methyl group, you form S adenosyl homocysteine. Okay. Here the methionine without the methyl group with the, with the adenosyl group is S adenosyl homocysteine and the enzyme here is methyl transferase because you are transferring a methyl group from S adenosyl methionine to S adenosyl homocysteine. In the next reaction, what happens? This adeno S adenosyl homocysteine 
uh, remove that adenosine group then you will get homocysteine. So, you are hydrolyzing here the hydrolase enzyme hydrolyzes acetonazyl homocysteine to homocysteine. So, this is the important molecule in the metabolism of this methionine. So, uh, till that this reaction what is happening here you added one adenosyl group to methionine to form acetonazyl methionine then a methyl group is taken out from methionine and again the adenosine is taken out. So, ultimately what is happening here is methionine to homocysteine there is one difference is that methyl group is taken out from methionine because ultimately you added the adenosine and taken out the adenosine that does not make any difference to the structure, but you have taken out an extra methyl group that is present in the methyl methionine to form homocysteine. Next what happens is this uh, homocysteine combines with the serine to form cystathionine. So, the enzyme required is cystathionine beta synthase and this requires vitamin B6 for its activity. So, homocysteine plus serine forms cystathionine in the presence of vitamin B6 that is pyridoxal phosphate to form cystathionine. The enzyme is cystathionine beta synthase. Then this cystathionine undergoes hydrolysis to form cysteine and alpha keto butyrate plus ammonia is produced here. So, serine is converted into cysteine and the remaining part of this uh, homocysteine that is converted into this uh, alpha keto butyrate and then that is converted to propenyl CoA, propenyl CoA is converted into succinyl CoA and succinyl CoA enters into the TCA cycle. Then the enzyme required here is cystathionase, cystathionase splits this cystathione into cysteine and alpha keto butyrate plus ammonia and this also requires vitamin B6 and desulfuration of uh, cysteine forms the pyruvate. Okay. That is why we can call this uh, methionine as a glucogenic amino acid because you are forming this succinyl CoA and also the pyruvate. The other pathway this homocysteine can go into is direct conversion of homocysteine to methionine and this reaction is very very important. During its metabolism, thus methionine donated its methyl group for methylated products, some of the products like epinephrine and creatine. And uh, if you give that methyl group back to homocysteine, you can synthesize the methionine. And this reaction is very important. You need to provide that methyl group, and that methyl donor is methyl cobalamin. Methyl cobalamin donates the methyl group and converts homocysteine into methionine and you get the cobalamin and again this uh, the enzyme required here is methionine synthase okay, or homocysteine methyl transferase is the other name of this enzyme because you are transferring a methyl group to homocysteine and you are synthesizing methionine. And in this reaction, you also require N5 methyl tetrahydrofolate, which is taken up by cobalamin to resynthesize methyl cobalamin, methyl cobalamin. And this is very important because if this methyl tetrahydrofolate, okay, this this is if it is you if you don't take out this methyl group, the free tetrahydrofolate is not available if in case of B12 deficiency. So, the folate is trapped in the form of uh, N5 methyl tetrahydrofolate. So, the cobalamin deficiency can cause deficiency of the folate deficiency and folate free folate is not available for its activity. That is why this reaction is also very important in case of this folate trap. So, any block in the synthesis of or uh, uh, conversion of this homocysteine to 
this pathway that is cystathionin, cysteine and pyruvate that increases the blood homocysteine level or the block here conversion of homocysteine to methionine either one will cause homocysteine emia that is increased homocysteine level in the blood causing homocysteine urea and this is very very important because this homocysteine is associated with lot of disorders like uh, it is it is uh, directly associated with coronary heart diseases stroke and marfan like habitus lot of things are associated with this increased homocysteine level that uh, cut, that is the about uh, the overview of metabolism of this methionine just to summarize we discussed about this methionine and uh, that methionine is converted into S adenosyl methionine here is the donor of this uh, adenosyl group from ATP and then S adenosyl methionine there is a methylated reactions that methyl group is taken out and forms S adenosyl homocysteine and that if you take out that adenosyl group from S adenosyl homocysteine you form homocysteine and then homocysteine can enter into two pathways one it can convert into cystathionine it is a B6 uh, dependent reaction uh, and uh, cystathionine can be again converted into cysteine again it is a B6 dependent reaction and it can convert into pyruvate and uh, one of the byproduct can be converted into a uh, propenyl CoA and succinyl CoA and the other important reaction direct conversion of homocysteine into methionine here you are adding a methyl group methyl transferase or methionine synthase and this requires two vitamins vitamin B12 cobalamin and tetrahydrofolate any genetic deficiency of the enzymes this is uh, cystathionine beta synthase or methionine synthase or any one of the vitamin deficiencies B6 B12 and tetrahydrofolate can cause homocysteinemia. I hope this uh, lecture will, will help you to understand the metabolism of methionine. methionine. Thank you.